Hey guys, Mohan Pavera here and today I'm going to talk about the consulting business. What is it and what makes a good consulting business? Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Mohan Pavera. If you're new to this channel, I'm here sharing and documenting my journey, been involved in many businesses, made a lot of money, lost a lot of money, and I'll continue to share with you, document my mistakes, my lessons, and things that hopefully can help you. I'm also here to show you that you can buy an existing business versus starting one from scratch. But today I want to talk mostly about the consulting business because I see just lots of ads on it lately and people ask me for my thoughts about it. So here's what I'm thinking about consulting business. Is it easy to get going in that business? Well, no, nothing is easy. And those who sell you dreams that it's easy, just I don't believe them. I don't think there is any magic button or get rich thing that you can do immediately to become a multimillionaire within a week. I think that everything takes time and people don't understand that there's a process to everything. And unless you really respect the process, there's no way you will be successful at anything. Now, is it good to start a consulting business? I think that it's a great, uh, I guess, if you decide to start a business, again, I was talking a bit on how you can buy an existing consulting business, but here's what I'm thinking about starting a consulting business from scratch. I think that, first of all, it's going to te teach you a lot of skills like getting clients, basically doing marketing, like doing sales, selling to those leads and prospects that you bring from your marketing. So those are probably some of the most important skills to know when you try to grow a business internally. Now, people might tell you that it's easy. It's not easy. I want to talk about some of the challenges because people think that, okay, you're getting yourself a client on a retainer and that client is going to stay with you forever. And that's not the case, especially if you don't have any track record for your business especially initially you don't have any case studies or results you can show so you're basically constantly in a process to find a new client and what happens and that's what i see with many consulting businesses is that they get client they get some money then they need to do work on that client and basically they then don't work to find other clients for another month or two which leads them to having no money and then they start to get another client so they have all those ups and downs because they have, I guess, the challenge between bringing a new client and delivering the product to that client. And I don't care how, many, how much people will tell you, hey, you just need to outsource that, that service. It's easier said than done, guys. Easier said than done to outsource to someone who you don't know and you need to put your full trust in him. And even if you find a really, really, like, let's say you find the best person in the world to deliver the service, it's not going to be cheap and your margins of profits are going to be very low. So... That's kind of like one of the biggest challenges that I see with consulting businesses. And even if you see lots of great results out there, people who are getting a sale here and a sale there, ask yourself a better and most, more important question, which is, are, can they first of all, do they actually have a legit business? I mean, you bring in a client every now and then, do you actually have a business that you can comfortably live from it? And secondly, are you doing that job that you actually enjoy? Because to bring in clients again and again and again, that's a constant struggle to go out there, hustle, do marketing, sell stuff. And it's, again, easier said than done to start something like that from scratch. Compare that to, let's say, an existing consulting businesses that's already been there for years, and that's why they are able to grow to at least seven figures a year in sales. When you go and try to buy something like that, First of all, you buy something with track record, you buy something with access to sometimes hundreds or even thousands of clients that the business worked with, and you can easily go back and sell something again to those clients. I think the biggest thing is that when you approach and try to buy a business like that, you already have assets on that business balance sheet. Things like, especially with consulting businesses, because it's a many times B2B business, you have things like accounts receivables, you have Obviously, it depends if you have facilities and real estate on that business. Uh, that's, that's a different story. But let's say that that consulting business is just a small business doing, let's say, a million dollar a year. And they got a lot of accounts receivables because it's a B2B business. You can take those accounts receivables and finance them and many other things like the cash flow of the business that you can finance as well. Use the basically the existing consulting business assets as a leverage to literally buy that business. Now, don't get me wrong, that process isn't easy either. You need to work, you need to go out there to find a business that is looking to sell, that is motivated to sell. But in my opinion, it's basically the same amount of time and process that is to go out there and get a new client. So what I'm trying to suggest to you is, instead of finding 
another consulting client? Why won't you just go and find another consulting business? It's going to take you many times the same amount of money and literally the same amount of capital sometimes that it will take you to start a consulting business from scratch. Yes, there are organic ways to find clients and there are, I guess you can use referral systems to find clients without putting any capital up front. But if you want to grow a legit business, you got to put money into advertising and marketing. And if you're not doing your sales yourself, you got to bring it to salespeople. And obviously you need to pay money for the delivery of those products. That's, that's obviously happens after you're getting paid, but still you have all the advertising costs. I know people who started a business from scratch who spent at least uh, $50,000 or even six figures, $100,000 to try to start that business from scratch. If you use the same amount of money, that fifty dollars to $100,000, to buy an existing business, that's going to go a long way, guys. You can use $50,000. Like not, right now, we're buying a million-dollar business using just $50,000 of our own capital. So it's definitely doable because you have lots of cool things you can do at the back end. First of all, like I mentioned in, in, in a second ago, that you can leverage the business assets to get financing. And then you can always use the seller as another leverage to basically get financing on part of the deal. You can structure different deals like earnouts or deferred payments or different type of payments that basically allows you not to pay too much money of your own pocket, if not many times nothing at all, right? So th those are just my thoughts based on someone who's doing this right now full time. That's what we're doing. We're out there looking to buy businesses. And we are helping people like you to buy their first business or existing business owners to grow their business by acquisitions. And the reason we do that is because we know that the more we help people out there to even know that it's possible, the more deal flow we will eventually get on the back end. And we can do a lot of money with you um, long term, do deals together, invest in, in deals together. So the more we, we share it out there, the better. It's a win-win scenario for everyone. So th th those are my thoughts. I think it's much, again, I don't, want, I don't like the word easy. But it's basically the same process starting a business from scratch that it is to, to buy one. And the beauty is when you buy a business, like a consulting business, when you buy one from scratch, when, when you buy, sorry, an existing one, you get basically a business that's already producing revenues and profits. You can take income from day one and that income is going to be sustainable because that business is much more sustainable. You also get access to you know, employees many times, to huge lists of clients. And then even if you have another consulting service that you want to sell, that that existing business isn't selling, you can just introduce that service into that business when you already have good fundamentals. That's how I would do that. That's what I think is the best things out there to first of all, just give more value to clients out there because you already have good fundamentals to work with. To get sales is gonna be much easier for you because you're already gonna have a track record of that business and it's just a completely different game. Unfortunately, just most people don't know that if it's even possible. And that's what this channel is about. If you didn't check, check all my other videos on the channel and you'll see that's exactly what we're talking about here. So if you wanna explore more if buying a business is for you, or if you have an existing business, I believe that growing your business by acquisitions of other companies is basically the, way, the best way to grow. Again, it's growing one client at a time versus growing one business at a time, basically one acquisition at a time. And I believe it's much better. So if you have, if you have no experience in business, you just have a job or you have a small business, let us show you, we can show you how to buy your first deal. If you have a business that's already making half a million or a million, we can show you how to grow it by acquisitions. And many times people just message me, they have capital to invest and they just don't want to be involved in the active work of finding a deal and doing the negotiation, all that, they just want to put money. So if you and a creditor and an investor and you want to learn more about that, for all of those, just go to moanpober.com forward slash quiz, see the details there, click on whatever, there are like three boxes based on your situation, just click on what fits and um, we'll, we'll show you what to do next. So that's it for today, guys. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, do that right now. Uh, I would really appreciate it. It really helps my channel. Uh, like the video, comment below, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.